Hello everyone, welcome to Jinghua Education. I'm Steven. In this video, we're going to talk about surface area and volume part 5, which is how to using what we have learned so far in 1, 2, 3 to find out surface area and volume for a complex 3D object, so which is more than one object. It's combined. Okay, uh, if you haven't checked out the uh, part 1, 2, and 3, please do so. Otherwise, it's really hard to follow because we're going to use what we have learned in there to find out uh, the surface area and the volume for the complex shape here. Okay, so part 4 is also talking about this. Part 4, we're using uh, hemisphere and known cone. In this part, we're going to use what? Use a rectangular prisms and a rectangular pyramid combined. Okay, so if you see the top part is rectangular pyramid, in the bottom part is rectangular prisms. Okay, again, let's do the volume first because volume is simpler. So volume equal to what? Volume of the rectangular prisms. Um, this is the prisms. Equal to the base times height. All right, so the base is how much? The base equal to 30 times 20 times the height. Height is 5. Simple enough. OK, so uh, volumes of uh, pyramid. We use PY to represent the pyramid. OK, it's the one third of the same, uh, same base, same height of prisms. So the base is how much? The base is same. It's a 30 times 20. The height is how much? The height is a 5, OK? Because it's here. The height is a 5 here. So this pyramid base is 30 times 20. The height is 5 divided by 3, which is the volume of pyramid. So we just simply add them up. And that's it. So volume in total equal to that's how much? That's the 300, uh, 3,000. Plus, that's uh, 10 times 20 is 200, 1,000. Equal to 4,000 cubic centimeters. That's it. OK, the volume is always simple. OK, so the surface area, again, is tricky. Let's see how many side we have. First things, when we're talking about the prisms, we have the bottom, right? We have only one bottom, which is the 30, let's talk about the prism first. SA of prisms equal to a bottom, which is 30 times 20. And then four side, one, two, three, and four. We don't have the top, all right? We only have four side here. Four side equal to what? Uh, equal to this part. Let's just using yellow. This part, and then this part. Okay, that is how much? That is five times thirty times two. Five times thirty is one off the side times two. It's another right. Five times thirty times two. We're gonna add another one, which is this one and this side. This two side is 20 times 5 times 2. Now we have uh, like a, a box, the base and the four side are done. Okay, yeah, the base and the four side and here this is the prisms. Uh, surface area of pyramid going to equal to one, two, three, four, four triangles without the base, because the base is uh, is excluded. We're looking for surface area, right? We're just looking for the side of the four triangles, and that's it. Okay, so in order to find the triangles, we need to find the base and height, right? So let's remove this. Now let's talking about the pink triangle here. 
Okay, so what is the base? Base simple is 20, right? The height is how much? The height is here. So we have a triangle here, which is this is the 15. That is how much? That's the 15, right? 15, 15. Okay, we have uh, this. 15 here, 15 here. We have a right angle here. So we using 15 square plus 15 square and the square root equal to 15 square root of 2. I jump a, a little bit step here. You can uh, watch my uh, radical videos to talk uh, to know how we actually calculate ca calculate this. Okay, I'm just you going to use the result here. 15 square root 2, which is the side of this one. So this triangle going to equal to uh, 20 times 15 square root of 2 divided by 2 and then times 2. Why divided by 2? Because it's a triangle. Triangle which is space time height divided by 2. Why times 2? Because we have another one. This one on the back side, you cannot see it, but this is symmetry. This side and this side are symmetry. Okay? Yeah. And then the next part is this triangle here. We're using yellow triangle here. Yellow triangles same thing, base times height. The so base is 30. Now the height, let's remove this. The height is here. And then we have this triangle here. Base, uh, this is one triangle again. So this is how much? That's the half of the 20. So we got a, a 10 here. We got a 15 here, and then this part. So we have a 10 square plus 15 square. 10 square is 100, 15 square is 225, total is 325. Square root of 325, okay, which is, uh, that's a 5 square root of 13. So you can check my radical videos to find out how much, how this being done. 5 square root of 13. So we got a 5 square root of 13 times the base, which is 30, divided by 2. So 30 times 5 square root of 13, divided by 2, and then times 2. So we add these two up, and then we add these two up, and then we're done. So this is how much? This is 600 plus this is a 300, uh, this 900, plus this is the 200, total is uh, 1100. This side is uh, 20 times 15 square root 2 is a 300 square root 2, and then that is the 150 square root of 13. So our surface area total equal to 1100 plus 30 square root of 2 plus 150 square root of 13. Uh, that's what? That's a square centimeter because this is area. Okay? Okay, so I jump some steps on the calculations. You can use your calculator to get exactly the same result. And that's it. So I hope you learned something. If you like, please subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment below. I will answer your question in my next video. Thank you for watching.